Hello viewers, I have been, actually we have been, we have been talking, we have been discussing about uh, English literature's some MCQs which will be helpful for our net preparation or SLAT or PhD in English entrance test or SLAT exam of different states of India. So in that endeavor, we have reached uh, number 65 today. So without any delay, let's begin our discussion. Identify the figure of speech in the following line. We shaped our culture and our, our culture shaped us. So this is a line and this is a figure of speech. Now we have to identify that figure of speech. Number A saying hyperbaton. Number B saying uh, chiasmus. Sorry for the pronunciation. Number C anaphora. Number D uh, asyndeton. Hmm? So what is the correct answer? Correct answer of this question will be B that is chiasmus. Uh, the pronunciation may vary and I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. I will try to learn. Okay. Now let's move on to our next question. It says, there have been several descriptions of Indian writings in English match the author critics in list A with their comments in list B. So in list A, we have uh, author and critics and in list B, we have their comments. Okay, what kinds of comments they have done. Uh, R.K. Narayan, you all know, uh, he is an Indian writer. Uh, in English, then Salman Rasdi, then Tabis Kher, and then Frederick Jameson. These all writers are important. Therefore, it is your duty to know their uh, literary works, how they have impacted uh, Indian English. And you should also know their biography because many questions are often asked related to writer's biography. Then in list B, we have comments what kind of comments they have done like babu fictions national allegories toasted english then chutneyfication okay so what will be the correct answer of 66 correct answer of 66 it will be b that means a is related to three rk narayan has said english is a toasted english Okay, uh, Indian English is a toasted English. Then uh, B4, Salman Rasdi has said chutneyfication. C1, Tabis Kher has said babu fiction. And D, Frederick Johnson has said uh, national allegories. These all are important. I hope you will go through them. Okay, now let's jump on to the next question. It says, according to Jean Bandrillard, the precision of simulacra is one of the following so let me repeat the question according to Jean Bandrillard the precision of simulacra is one of the following a mimetic representation of the real b representation that precedes and determines the real c misrepresentation of the mass produced image as real d parody of the real Okay, this question is little bit different, okay, but it is related to literary theory. Therefore, you have to know about the li li uh, literary theories too. So, the uh, correct option uh, for this question, it will be B, that is representation that precedes and determines the real. Okay, it is related to uh, Jean Bandillard's The Precision of simula Simulacra. Next question, it says... Who wrote the famous book Letters from T Turkey giving a picturesque description of the of life and manners in the Ottoman Empire. So I think you have heard Ottoman Empire. It's one, one of the greatest empire in the world uh, which is based in Turkey. So now we have to find out who wrote the famous book called Letters from Turkey which gave a picturesque description of life and manners in the Ottoman Empire. So our authors are Lady Mary Worley Montagu, B. Lady Elizabeth Montagu, C. Elizabeth Justice, D. Elizabeth uh, Struth. So what is the correct answer? Correct answer of this question is number A. That, that is Lady Mary Worley Montagu. Got it? Okay. 
Now let's move on to our next question. It says, in which work do we find the following sentence? So this is the sentence. Uh, now we have to read this sentence. So let's read it. It is the honorable characteristics of poetry that its materials are to be found in every subject which can interest the human mind. So this is a remarkable statement. Okay, but uh, this statement is taken from which work? Which literary works? Options are the study of poetry, B. Lyrical ballads, C. Biographia literaria, D. The hero as poets. All are Im important. Now let's try to find out the correct answer of this question. 69 correct an answer is B. Okay, B is the correct answer. Lyrical ballad, I hope you know. Ly lyrical ballad, it was published by, uh, actually it was collaboratively or jointly published by William Wordsworth and S. T. Collieries. Okay, and that was the beginning of English Romantic period in English literature. If I'm not wrong, but please verify. Okay, now next question. It says, which of the following is not a campus novel? Uh, I have heard for the first time about the campus novel. So please do your own research. Now we have to find out which of the following is not a campus novel. Lucky Jim, Decline and Fall, The History Man, Nice Work, 70. Correct answer will be B, that is Decline and Fall. This is the correct answer. Next, next question we have, it says which of the following plays, sorry, which of the uh, follow, following drama or plays is not a city comedy? The Shoemaker's Holiday, A Mad World, My Masters, A Chest Made in... Uh, cheap side, a woman kill with kindness. All plays are important. You must know about them in detail. Go, go through it. 71, correct answer will be D. That is a woman kill with kindness. Okay. Now let's move on to our next question. It says, 72, which author said, I want to produce a feminine equivalent of the current masculine realism. So who said this statement or line? Dorothy Richardson, uh, Anais Nin, Simon de Beauvoir, Virginia Woolf, 72. So correct answer will be A, that is Dorothy Richardson. Got it? Dorothy Richardson. I hope you know about her. Okay. Uh, now let's move on to the next question. It says, who among the following philosophers did not influence black? William Black, you must have known his name. Uh, a notable poet from if i'm not wrong he was too from romantic age if i'm not wrong i may be wrong so please do your own research okay options are emmanuel uh, swedenborg saint augustine c parcelas d jacob bohmi 73 correct answer will be b that is saint augustine Number 74, it says, which of the following is not a principle of deep ecology? Deep ecology, this is a relevant as well as often discussed themes. Okay, so what is deep ecology? You have to know that, so do your own research. It is also related to literary theory. Now we have to find out in this question that which of the following is not a principle of deep ecology? So many options are here, like number eight, it says engage in specific and environmental issues of pollution, conservation, uh, etc. in the protection of human interests. B, maintaining ecological and cultural diversity. C, human being as ecological self and believer of biocentric egalitarianism. D, deeply impatient and ethical engagement of the scientist with nature. What is the correct answer? Now here, it is saying not a principle. Okay, only one will be wrong and rest are all, all will be re related to the principles of deep ecology. Got it now. Okay, so correct answer will be A. Okay, this is the correct answer. But apart from this, B, C and D, these all are related to the principle of deep ecology. Now let's try to reread this line which is the answer of our question engage in specific environmental issues of pollution conservation etc uh, in the protection of human interest so this is not the principle of deep ecology let's move on next question it says who wrote the practice of everyday life who wrote 
द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ एवरी डे लाइफ सो दिस कैंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू विल गेट इन एबंडेंस ओके माँ मिशेल पेशुक वेरी हार्ड टू प्रोनाउंस फॉर मी मिशेल दि सर सर्टेन मिशेल फुकु मिचेल गिरोक्स करेक्ट एंसार इज दि मिचेल गिरोक्स दि दिस इज दाई वे आई प्रोनाउंस आई एम सरी फर दैट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट सेज हु रोड द प्रिन्सिपल्स अफ जियोलजी उच हेड ए सिग्निफिकेन्ट इनफ्लुएंस ऑन द लिटरेचर अफ द भिक्टोरियन पीरियड फ्रेंस इज गैल्टन चार्ल्स लील लियल जन कैबल चार्ल्स डारविन करेक्ट एन्सार अफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज नम्बर बी दैट इज चार्ल्स लियल लेट मी रिपीट इट इट सेज हु रोड द प्रिन्सिपल्स अफ जियोलजी उच हेड ए सिग्निफिकेन्ट इनफ्लुएंस ऑन द लिटरेचर अफ द भिक्टोरियन पीरियड let's move on to next question our next question is which of the following works by amitabh ghosh is a novel amitabh ghosh you must have re re read his famous work called the shadow lines okay now we have to find out which of the following works by Am amitabh ghosh is a novel in an antique land count down the circle of reason the imam and indian correct answer is c the circle of reason The, this is a novel written by him next what according to aristotelian poetics is the first and foremost quality to be expected in the protagonist of tragedy what according to aristotle in poetics it's a famous work you must read is the first and foremost quality to be expected in the protagonist of tragedy that he must obey the gods that he must be great that he must be good that he must be heroic what is the correct answer correct answer of this question is c that is he, that he must be good let's move on to next question next question it says uh, given below are statements two of which are false choose the correct option so like this you will get so many questions be prepared okay freud and jung are both essentialists in framing their theories of psychoanalysis both freud and jung were concerned with the collective unconscious Lacan was indebted to Jung in developing his psychoanalytic formulations. Lacanian psychoanalytic theory is postulated in its orientation. One and two are false. Two and three are false. Three and four are false. One and four are false. So here we have to find out the false one. Correct answer will be what? Correct answer will be B. That is two and three are false, and rest are okay. Okay, two and. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Seventy-nine. Correct answer will will be B. Yes, two and three will be wrong. Ah, uh, but uh, one and four will be correct. Number eighty. It says which novel by William Faulkner? William Faulkner is a notable novelist. You have to know uh, his work. So here the que question is which novel by William Faulkner? deals with the history of stupens 100 as i lay dying light in august the sound and the fury absalom absalom 80 correct answer will be d absalom absalom you must read but this apart from this these all the rest works like as i lay dying light in august the sound and the fury these all are also very uh, not worthy so go through it next Eighty one. It says the statement that imagination dissolves, differences dissipates in order to recreate relates to what? Let me repeat it. The statement that imagination dissolves, differences dissipates in order to recreate relates to what? Wordsworth's theory of imagination, Shelley's theory of imagination, Coleridge's theory of imagination, Black's theory of imagination. Got it? Eighty one. Correct answer of eighty one number question will be number C. That is called this theory of imagination. This is very important. Please remember. And if you want to uh, know further about it, then you must do deep study. Uh, it will be what number eighty two. It says which of Joseph Conrad's novels deals with the political conflict over a silver mine in South African country? Joseph Conrad. You must have read his. Uh, remarkable work called uh what was the name i have forgotten 
the heart of darkness that's a remarkable work written by him which deals with colonialism uh, and how africans were treated by the english people and how africans were exploited B both narratives you will get okay now let's try to find out this lord jim uh, almire's folly nostromo the nigger of Nar narcissus attitude correct, correct answer of this question will be c that is nostromo this work deals with the political conflict over a silver mine in south of american country south american country next which among the following list of henry james fictional works is considered to be a ghost story henry james you must have uh, read his works so the question is which among the following list of henry james fictional works is considered to be a ghost story a the turn of the screw b the bostonians c what Maisie knew d the golden bowel 83 correct answer of this question is uh, a the turn of the screw the turn of the screw remember it it will help you okay next we have who translated Girish Karnan's Yayati, originally re written in Kannada, into English? Um, I'm sure you have read Girish Karnan's work. He is known for his plays, especially based on Indian mythology. So the question is, who translated Girish Karnan's Yayati, originally re written in Kannada, into English? B. B. Karnat, U. R. Anantha Murthy, A. K. Ramanujan, Girish Karnad. 84. Correct answer of this question will be D. Girish Karnan himself has translated it into English from his own mother tongue, Kannada. Kannada, you all know. Kannar, Kannar language from Karnataka. Next question. Who wrote the following? The language of the age is never the language of poetry. The language of the age is never the language of poetry. That is true, right? So, whenever a poet writes a poem or compose a poem or creates a poem then you can uh, see that uh, the, the poet always tries to write in a way that is never written before okay it happens so that line is quite relevant so let's try to find out this lines um, creator who wrote the following? The language of the age is never the language of poetry. William Wordsworth, S. T. Coleridge, Thomas Gray, P. B. Sally. Correct answer of this question is number C. Thomas Gray. Thomas Gray is also a significant poet uh, from England. So, read it. Hmm. Next. 86, it says, who can be credited? with the observation that even Homer sometimes nods. Homer, you must have read his works, is known for his epic works, okay? So who can be cre credited with the observation that even Homer sometimes nods? Plato, John Dryden, Dr. Samuel Johnson, Horace. Correct answer of this question is number D, Horace. Horace, he is also a known figure, hmm, celebrated figure. 87 given below is an assertion that that is a in the bracket and reason r in the bracket choose the correct option from the quotes quotes assertion is saying longinus theory of genius is an anticipation of the romantic notion of the poet reason it privileges erratic genius over flawless and impeccable mediocrity quotes are a is true while r is false a is false while R is true, both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. A and R are both false. What do you say? What is the correct answer of 87? Correct answer of 87 is C. Both A and R are true, but R is the explanation of A. Means correct. Correct explanation of A. 88. It says the female enans. Sorry, not enans. Eunuchs. According to me, the way I have pronounced, it may be wrong, so please verify. The female Eunuchs is writ written by Judith Butler, Hannah Arand, Simon the Bivore, 
German Greer 88 correct answer of this question is German Greer she has written it called the female eunuchs 89 it says who wrote the following the parts of a composition may be poetical without the composition as a whole being a poem the parts of a composition may be po poetical without the composition as a whole being a poem william wordsworth s t coleridge p b shelley william hazlitt 89 correct answer of this question is p b shelley parsi barsi shelley you must have read his poems if you have not do it right now otherwise it will put you in a trouble situation in the exam not in other place okay next question 90 it says the to burn always with this hard gem like flame to maintain this uh, ecstasy success in life is from which of the following works to burn always with this hard gem like flame to maintain the ex uh, ext ecstasy success in life is from which of the following works marius the epicurean the renaissance modern painters unto this last so correct answer of this question will be 90 is a b that is the renaissance the renaissance period though it may not be re related to that but i'm just referring it so that you uh, should know about it next question 91 it says identify the patron to whom the largest number of horaces oaths are addressed identify the patron to whom the largest number of horaces oaths are addressed Virgil, augustus machinas philo correct answer of this question is machinas next 92 it says in which book of enid does enias organize the funeral games organize uh, for the anniversary of and uh, and kaisa's death book four book six book five book two correct answer is number c book five hey wait 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 book five that is c now next next it says which among the following authors wrote the play back at b-e-c-k-e-t robert browning oscar wilde algernon charles swinburne Al Al alfred lord tennyson 93 uh, correct will be alfred lord Tan tennyson he has also written and composed so many poems you must read uh, okay and he has written this play called beckett next question it says the theory that an act of poetic creation implies a misreading of an earlier poet was developed by whom the theory that an act of poetic creation implies a misreading of an earlier poet was de developed by paul de man norman holland david blage harold bloom all are all are a very 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 celebrated names you must know them 94 the correct answer of this question will be number d that is harold bloom harold bloom you must have heard there is a one name orlando bloom a hollywood actor who has done marvelous acting in a movie called troy you must watch that movie to gain more understanding about uh, greek mythology okay leave it let's now move on to the next question it says who among the following is not a kit sorry which among the following is not a kitchen sink play kitchen sink play kitchen sink uh, kitchen sink drama this is a very very important uh, literary topic for you okay um, there are so many works written in this genre that's why you have to know and uh, in kitchen kitchen sink play most of the things are based in the kitchen uh, they are struggling for food uh, despite being highly educated they are um, saddled for very little money money because they have no other options left uh, so and they have all, uh, always tried to depict that are very fund fundamental things uh, so it's like 
depicting uh, unemployment okay is especially in the english society yeah, through the drama and those are based in the very general or working class pe people society and life mm, so let's try to find out which is the correct answer bedroom first look back in anger at test of honey roots what is the correct answer correct answer will, will be a bedroom first so here sorry the question was this which among is not a kitchen sink play all are kitchen sink play like roots a taste of honey look back in anger all are except bedroom parts okay last question we have last or what okay we have left some question let's try to do that but let's try to finish this did not great julius bleed for justice sake who said these words cassius mark antony okay and brutus octavius so c will be the correct answer brutus so we have left so many questions now let's try to solve it which artistic movement is ezra pound pound most commonly associated ezra pound american writer you must have known so correct answer of 96 it will be d that is imagism imagism uh, apart from that surrealism impressionism expressionism you must know all about it 97 choose the option that matches correctly the authors in list a with works in list b in list a we have gorigio vasri king james one dante erasmus uh, and in list b we have options like this i will not read the all let's try to find out the correct answer of this question correct answer will be a that is a4 gorgio vasari is related to for the lives of the most excellent painters sculptors and ar architects b1 king james one uh, is related to demonology uh, c2 dante v vita nova uh, d erasmus 3 handbook of a christian knight 98 it says who coined the term the implied author very important you must know you must know this concept implied author who coined this term Percy Lubbock, David Lotz, F.R. Lewis, Wayne Booth. The correct answer of this question is D. Wayne Booth. Okay, so you must know. So that's all for today's uh, video. And I hope you have been doing your best. And please solve as much MCQ possible. Huh. Otherwise, it will be pretty difficult for you. Okay, all the best. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.